Inpatient Rehab Facilities, presented by myself, Jeffrey Atlas, and Bridget Amendano. What are inpatient rehab facilities? Inpatient rehab facilities are specialized hospitals or often referred as acute or hospital level rehabilitation centers. By specialized, I mean that the patients are specifically taken care of. All the patient's medical needs are programmed within the facility and assistance throughout the day is also provided. Patients have emotional support to improve every day within the facility. Now, why does a patient usually attend inpatient rehab facilities, even though they can commonly act as overnight physical therapy? Usually, patients who enter these facilities have more severe injuries, including stroke, major surgeries, major fractures, spinal cord injuries, nervous system disorders, and brain, brain injuries that require more medical attention and 24-7 on-by uh, ready assistance. So who does that system service and what specific services do they provide? The facility, as Jeffrey has explained, many of the people who are admitted to these facilities have many inabilities that won't allow them to function normally. The facility provides assistance to those that need to be supervised and provides assistance from simple day-to-day -day tasks such as bathing, dressing, and motor skills and ambulation. Inpatient facilities are growing overall throughout the United States. Today, there are 1,183 facilities that are covered by Medicare. Of that, there are 52 centers in the state of Florida. However, it can be seen that the industry is growing, as in 2012, there was 1,166 total facilities, whether they were covered by Medicare or not. In order for the facility to actually function and to do what it's supposed to do, you have to have employees to do their part. So who are the employees that work in this facility? There are social workers, physicians, physician assistants, and nurses. Social workers are those that provide emotional support to their patient. But in the world we live today, anyone can provide that support, including physicians and nurses. Nevertheless, physicians and their assistants diagnose the patient, lay out the treatment plan, and perform the treatment with the patient. Who owns these facilities? In the for-profit uh, case of these facilities, it is usually owned by a physician or profitable, profitable company, and they are usually seen as hospitals or private practices. The nonprofit organizations, on the other hand, do not profit off the customer after the salaries are paid for, but they do provide the same services. Government government owned organizations could be considered a hospital or private practice, but is owned by the government and is substantially controlled in a certain way by their by their government. If someone close to you is considering to be in an inpatient rehab facility, you may want to look both sides of the spectrum, the benefits and the limitations. Benefits include 24-hour supervision by trained staff and therapists, never being alone, being a part of a community where other residents are going through the same thing, provides intense levels of care, more time each day is focused on recovery through group and individual council settings, provides other treatment exercises, and no worries about life. The main focus is to get better and to be able to go on with your life. However, there are limitations that come with inpatient rehab facilities. One includes a strict schedule. These patients are owned usually throughout the day and are, do not get to pick when their free time is, when they eat lunch or dinner or breakfast, or what they get to do. It depends on whether their person enjoys their treatment as if, they're, if they will enjoy these facilities. Also, they, these patients have to take a leave from the job they are on in order to participate in the residential treatment. And all, lastly, the cost of outpatient versus inpatient due to insurance is a limitation. Outpatient costs less due to the insurance companies charging, charging, covering less of inpatient care. Specific examples of these facilities would be Lakeland Regional Health, a hospital located in Lakeland, Florida. The institutions within the hospital is referred as the Banask Institute. Institution. Features of this institution include a 32-bed unit designed to maximize its patient safety, private patient rooms, each with 300 or more square feet of space designed for patient and family comfort. They also have a large physical therapy gym designed for specific patients with a neurological condition. This facility provides specific areas for specific people, such as having family, conference, and day or dining areas. A second example of inpatient rehabilitation facilities is the Kingsbrook Rehabilitation Institute located in Brooklyn, New York. It is a nonprofit organization that provides the same care as all other organizations.